Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on the video. Once again, it is the boss event time. Apocalypse Alliance based event is open. Our alliance has done a great job. We got to the end for the final progression already. And I'm still in round eight for the personal progression side of things. We will take him on in a little bit. We'll probably do this second after we start in a couple of areas. we got a lot more stuff going on. So we'll take him on with a couple of cool teams and uh, talk about a little bit of strategy to defeat Apocalypse. We'll start in Deadpool's Daily like usual. Let a couple people get jumped on from the uh, live stream notice since we stream live on Twitch every day. And I also uh, upload videos to YouTube. So, hey, um, we're going to champion a couple of four-star characters. So in the um, DDQ, I usually don't start with the Behemoth Burrito, but let's do it first this time. Get a couple more command points. We'll get up to a nice even level in CP. And by the way, we're also going to pull all of our normal tokens that we have. On top of that, we're going to pull classics, classic legendary tokens, until we get a five star. So we're a little over a thousand command points. Hopefully we get that done and meet our, our five star goal within the first couple of pulls and save that CP up. So that might be what we do for a while now that we have five star cable and kitty pride champed up. Let's jump into this with Craven the Hunter and a couple of three and two star characters on each side. So this might be an interesting matchup here actually because... Sorry, there we go. Let's let it load in. The Thing is on the other team and uh, Craven specializes in doing extra damage when the enemy team has... has um, special tiles on the board. Well, they don't really, these characters don't put a lot of special tiles on the board. What I think we're going to do is try to um, do enough damage so that Thing himself jumps in front and tries to, uh, or basically takes the blow and protects his allies and create uh, protectiles on the board. And when he does that, that might be able to kick in Craven's passive for the, uh, damage every single turn. So we're going to see if we can do that. We're going to need to build up to... Let's take a quick look at Thing here. Yeah, we're going to have to build up to quite a bit of damage to do if the enemy would if uh, an enemy would take a bunch. All right. Well, so I think what we're going to need to do is probably build up for Craven's black ability and try to damage one of Thing's allies with it. That's going to be the biggest hitter on the team. We'll also go for Craven's blue ability. I think it's an underrated ability where um, it steals one AP every turn and it's a trap tile. So if the trap tile gets matched, it uh, does damage plus puts a bunch of your strongest color on the board. So I think with Craven um, in a in a matchup like this where there's no enemy specials, you're going to want to really rush that blue um, and maybe even before black if you can. All right, so we have blue and black matches with a match four and purple. Purple's for Kamala Khan. I don't, I uh, usually don't allow myself to play the two and three stars abilities in a match like this. So let's build up for Craven's blue and be ready with it. Just as a little bit of a challenge, we'll play most dangerous game here. Turn on the animations. Thanks for jumping on the live stream, guys. I see you popping in. If you want to say hi. In the chat, please do. Enios04 is in the stream and on live. He is an MPQ streamer as well, so make sure and hit him up from the links below the video whenever you can. How's it going, man? Happy Saturday night. Thank you very much. Play most dangerous game here. Pretty cool animation. So that's a trap tile. And uh, if we match it or the enemy, it will do damage, plus put some black tiles on the board. It's 940 damage so let's see we better take out those countdowns and we did it what do we do well uh, we basically had the rare occurrence where we were able to match away all of the enemy 
Iron Man Model 40's recharge tiles. Hey, we have enough red, so let's hit Moonstone with the red shot, and this should cause Thing to jump in front and uh, protect her by taking the hit and adding protect tiles to the board. There we go. And is it three or four? It's three. Okay, so Craven needs four of those to protect the, uh, or to um, have his passive kick in every turn for the damage. So we're going to have to try to build a little bit more of that. Um, I, I should get this black match so those protectiles are matchable, but I kind of want to keep them in the game. So let's just spread them out a little bit. Try to keep those protects on the board, not what you normally want to do. Similar kind of thing where this match four would take out a protectile. I want to try to keep it on. And it'd be pretty cool if we could get that trap tile match. We'll see if we can get something arranged where that will happen, but we're gonna need to try to build up to another damaging ability. Red's pretty cheap for the damage it does. Oh, come on, an extra move with the with the Two protectiles. Seriously. How could I not do it? Oh, why do I have to set myself up for these challenges? Let's just take one out and protect the other one. We have enough black to play most dangerous game. So let's do that. It'll be... It's always a black countdown tile. So I think we better probably match that away. I don't want it to be susceptible here. Okay, we can play another trap tile first. And it depends on your team's strongest color with the most dangerous game, by the way. Mine's black, so um, it would uh, use up three of your AP and three of the enemy AP to do as much the most damage as possible for the six AP qualifier times the damage component, right? Um, so if you have just 10 black and that's your strongest, you're not going to have any of your strongest AP to add in for the damage. We've got 14, so we're fine here. One turn countdown, so that's nice. Let's have that uh, attempt to hit Moonstone again, and this should work pretty good, pretty well. Things should jump in front. Oh, he, she had more health than things, so he didn't protect her. <laughs> Oh, it didn't work. All right, so we're going to have to try. Oh, man, that was a blow. I really thought we had it going here. We're going to lose another protect, I think. So, come on, Rick. Let's get this going. Let's just do that. We got the trap matched. That would be damage on Iron Man, not enough to trigger Thing. So, here we are. Thunderstrike should be enough to potentially trigger enough damage for Thing to protect him. Oh, man. Can't get it done. I just tried my best to get Thing to protect the, um, the others and get... Uh, oh try to get enough damage for him to jump in front, but we couldn't get an ability to qualify. It's trying to show people Craven isn't that bad if you pick the right team. So let's just finish this out since there's no reason to continue the way I wanted. Kamala's one of the best three stars in the game. And we'll have her basically finish it for Craven. So we needed a team that could either put enemy specials on the board or have a better chance at getting Thing to do that. Well, we got our two command points, and that's a nice deal because we're up to a nice uh, even level of 1,080. And we're going to pull classics in a little bit. Before we go any further and do our tokens, I'm going to champion a couple of four-star characters that have been waiting behind my five stars that I've been uh, been uh, keeping as a priority.
<laughs> Enios is busy trying to put together IKEA furniture. Good luck, man. I will be no help. Actually, some of it's a little bit of puzzly and clever how they go together, but that can be a lot of work. And hey, uh, Enios, I know you stepped out, but um, your request about the uh, shield check room for Time Slice 5, I already put in a um, note to one of the uh, commanders, so um, to one of the mods for the room. So. Uh, I don't know if we have room or not. We keep it slow, keep it low, but I think we have room. So, um, so hopefully we'll get you in. That'll be, that'll be awesome to have uh, another five-star level player in there with us. Let's go with Nebula. Four-star Nebula has been at 13 plus covers for a little bit. And, uh, I needed to get ISO planned up and everything for for um, other characters, but we are at the point where we're good to do it. Let's level her up to maximum level 270. Play the pay the promotion fee. And there it is. Brand new four star champion with a couple of save covers for a few more rewards. And she hits level 275. And I spec'd her out at 355, or maybe that's the way the uh, covers fell. We're going to keep her like that. I think her Red and green are um, really good two-move combo. We'll get her into action here next, but we're not done. We're going to champion another four-star character, and it is Dazzler. Um, for a long, long, long-running joke of a character request, basically uh, fun to um, always think that she's going to be the next character released, finally got released at the fans re overall request let's do it and actually she looks really good from what i've played with her so far we've got another four star champ and uh she has a bunch of covers saved even more than nebula so she's gonna hit 279 be nice to get one more cover from her soonish and it's sitting at the end of the season simulator so Probably won't play that tonight to the end, but uh, within the next two or three videos, we'll do that and we'll get that um, cover she needs to hit 280 for the legendary token. Two four star champs in one, and the reason I did that is I think we'll play those through the DDQ. Play those two in here. Let's bring in. Let's play with uh, Dazzler in this one. And um, so we've got a blue plus red, green, black. So yellow, purple, any yellow, purple will do. Nah, she might be overpowered. Let's go with Spider Gwen, who isn't bad. But I just want to feature Dazzler's abilities in this matchup. So we'll, we'll uh, pump up a little bit of red. And green is a really cheap ability, so I don't think we're going to need to boost that one. All right, let's go. So the point, and we'll only play Dazzler's abilities in here, and the point with her is um, try to get a whole lot of red first because that puts strike tiles on the board, and then her green ability packs a huge punch, but it depends on how many special tiles are on the board. So you really want to try to plan her out uh, ahead of time. But uh, Dance Floor Queen, you don't really have to wait for that, but I would play red before green if you have the chance to do it. Hey man, uh, Enios, I know you're back. You didn't miss much. I just mentioned I uh, put in a request for my battle chat group to try to get you in, and it looks to me like we have room, so I don't know um, what they what they do, but hopefully we'll get you in there, and that'd be great because uh, it was funny seeing you the other day in the uh, um, battle, and... Um, we uh, shared points back and forth. That would worked out really well. So Dance Floor Queen costs is 10 or more. And the reason I say or more is because every three red you have above the 10, you'll get additional strike tiles. So it's ideal to play it at 13 or more. Of course, that's not easy to always get much more than 10 AP to play an ability. So if you get to 13, that's best because you get a whole bunch more strike tiles. And then with... Um, Sounds of Light and Fury, it's a team damage ability where it does um, 
only 1146 damage to the enemy team, but you get a bonus of 384 at this level per special tile on the board. And um, you'll need to notice that uh, plus 364 damage for every friendly special tile. So the, the more strikes you get out, the harder that's going to hit for the team. Okay, so let's get green and red primarily. This guy's just about ready to go down. Let's leave him in for a second. This is not a real tough team, as you know, in these matchups. Well, we're going to get a lot of extra green. I don't need to go for it. How about purple, blue, lines up a red match. Maybe we'll get one of the two. Green and red. So I think we're going to win if we just get the nine, the 10 red, I mean, and we're in great shape. Let's do it. So these animations are pretty fun. Let's play Dance Floor Queen, or do we have another red available? Nah, let's not waste time going for an additional red. We'll play Dance Floor Queen, five strike tiles of pretty good strength. And uh, by the way, real quick note, asking for a Dazzler team up from somebody in your alliance that has her championed is a great idea because... Um, as a team up, you get um, it'll, it, you have to spend your team up AP to play it, right? But the component of the of the ability where it looks for how much red you have, if you have six red, it will put in the um, bonus number of strike tiles because you didn't have to spend red in the first place to get there. So you get a bunch of strikes, like uh, literally um, nine or or uh, what is it? Uh, probably um, 11 strike tiles or so. It's it's nuts as a team up, so ask for it if you can. Uh, if she's championed or even leveled a little bit. We've got the strikes on the board. Take a quick look. They're worth about 655 total damage. Let's play Sounds of Light of Fury. The team damage plus 384 for each strike is going to finish the battle. Real easy fight. We'll bring in uh, Nebula into the next one. And then we'll get into our boss fights, and then we'll do token pulls, and then we'll do some PvP, depending on how long things go. I'm spending a lot of time on this stuff, I realize. Oh, yeah, uh, Enio, the, like I said, I think, in a message, you, if you see me in PvP, um, and I'm not actively climbing or hopping between shields, you can hit me once or twice, as long as it's not like seven times and I lose uh, hundreds of points. <laughs> but yeah, you can always hit me if I'm just uh, hitting or climbing, man. So we're good. I just realized your username again the other day. So awesome. Let's get into this one with Nebula. And uh, side note here, it's interesting to me that most of the newer four-star characters that have even been released have a red and green set of abilities with either a passive or another ability. Uh, Dazzler, Nebula, Infinity War, Spider-Man, and um, Domino, and another one. I'm missing one of the other that might be a little bit older. I'm very surprised that it's that many in a row with the same color scheme. Let's just go ahead and uh, we know we'll be focusing on Nebula. So the way her red and green work together is... Uh, we're up against one of these rock guys that can actually be pretty tough. So um, with Nebula, and she has an active blue ability, so that's good. We'll try to get that out because that'll add uh, strike tiles to the board and give her healing every couple of turns with a repeater tile. I like the way that works. Let's look at um, Grim Efficiency, which is uh, direct damage of 2331. Nice. And then it creates two strength 186 red attack tiles for every three green AP that your team has. So you really want to build up green before you play Grim Efficiency, and then you can play them back to back. But uh, definitely build up green before red, um, or at least, you know, before you fire it off. So extra move up there. Let's go for that. 
There's a red match with the critical. We gotta be careful with this guy's team damage. We already have 10 green. That's crazy. Um, the more green we get, the more red attack tiles we'll get. So let's stay on we have a countdown going to expire that'll do damage I'm not too worried about our other friends and uh, Rocket and Groot and Nebula heal and Spider Gwen offers burst health so we're in pretty good shape overall Man, we almost have our abilities ready to play, too. So let's go for... What's the best move here? Probably should try to work on blue as well, but... We're going to get hit by that countdown. That's fine. Didn't want it to affect the board too much. That's not too bad. We need this red match now. If we can get that to keep it red lined up, perfect, it did. I think we better work on these guys here. They're going to hit us a little too much. Nothing's hurting too much really yet, but uh, they're getting out of control quickly. We have Nebula's abilities ready to play, though, and this is good. We got it. We don't have our blue yet. We'll get that on the next turn, perhaps. And we have 17 green. Wow. All right. There's a matchable red on the board. It would be nice to separate those red tiles so they're not as easily matched away when we convert them to attack tiles. What should we do? Should we try to find a way to... Let's just go for it. All right. We're going to play Grim Efficiency now that we have a bunch of green. This will do target damage of 2331, enough to take, who do we want to take out? Definitely this guy's got a lot of countdowns. Grim Efficiency, cool uh, animation here. So target damage plus all those attacks, and check it out, we had so much green, we got every red uh, tile placed with an attack tile, and now we have 1300 attack tile damage, but that's not all. In fact, actually, let's take this guy out before we do the next move. We're going to lose some attacks, potentially, but I want to just get a uh, bigger health character in before we play Nebula's team damage ability. So let's go with um, blue. So we'll have that blue ability charged up. Magneto enters. Nebula's getting pretty angry because she's got her uh, Galactic Rage ready to fire. We'll play... Let's play Warped Enhancements first. That's a repeater tile. Looks pretty safe to go there. And here we go. Galactic Rage. It does team damage. 653 damage for, for the enemy team for every special tile on the board and by the way it could be friendly or enemy special tiles kind of cool idea so you could have zero specials and a bunch of enemies and it, enemy specials and it's going to do a lot of damage here we go 3771 team damage is huge that's cool all right let's take out magneto and we're going to get another galactic rage on the next turn this will just about do it. In fact, it will after we play our move. Another Galactic Rage. Team damage of over 3,700. And we're not even going to get a heal out of our repeater. She's just really pretty, pretty decent, I think, if you can get her colors. There we go. So we'll uh, wait on the Crash of the Titans. We won't play that until next time. Other guys have done the crash reviews, and they've done a great job. So if you need more, um, well, I guess I should cover it real quickly. The um, It's against three-star Captain Marvel leveled up to level 270, so she's pretty tough, and she's got that passive ability where she can absorb red 
and black AP if you do enough damage. So you really want to play Sam Wilson. Um, probably just do just do match damage for, for as long as you can, and then get out your protect tiles when she doesn't have enough red to hit you with red because that'll take your protect tiles away. And um, but definitely don't play his red ability unless you have projectiles on the board or enough damage from the red ability to knock her out in one shot. You don't want to hit her a lot continuously. So at 14 red AP, you're probably only going to get one shot at it. All right, let's do uh, what do we want to do? Tokens first before apocalypse, maybe. Let's see. What do we? Which way do we want to do this? I actually might split the video in two again just to keep one. Um, a little bit shorter. Let's do our tokens and then we'll do the apocalypse battles. That might be a little bit more logical. Real quick review, we're, we only have 11 legendary tokens, which is which is great, that's plenty, uh, but we spent all the horde going for Cable and Kitty Pride and Loki in the last couple of videos, and we got Cable champed, Kitty and Loki as well, so I can't wait to get those in those guys into some more PvP action plus cable is super boosted in PvE right now and um, and PvP I should say so awesome got a support token to come back to let's start in Krakadoom it's the Riding the Rock event we got all five of the tokens we earned there all two stars so far can we get a gold result here on the last token not yet. All right. X-Men versus Apocalypse. There's some good stuff in here. Mr. Fantastic, Main Event Hulk, and Spider-Gwen, plus a bunch of three stars. Four tokens so far. Three-star Bullseye, not bad. I just duplicated him again. Two-star. Two-star Bullseye is the essential two-star, there's three-star Spidey, in the Unstable ISO 8, the next event, so I need to get my two-star Bullseye championed up. Another Spider-Man, wow, nice hits. Cool. All right, moving on. Talk of what we'll wait on, and Domino and Friends, it had five remaining tokens that I didn't pull yet. Let's do this. Did pretty good in the Domino and Friends Vault. There's a three-star Loki result. Did get the Domino cover out of that vault and that allowed me to get to get her up to level 168 to play the uh, second to last node in her shield training. Three-star Mystique. Running hot, guys. Done there. Okay. Head on back. Let's pull our support token. More than likely a duplicate, but man, I could use a new perk unlocked on one of the others I have or a brand new support. Can we do it this time? Another duplicate, but it was a level 2 Korg, so that's uh, 7,000 red ISO 8. I am liking the fact that they increased the red ISO drop rates, so um, can actually level some up quite a bit. So we have 17 heroics. Let's do the elites first. There's gold, Doctor Strange. And we will pull classics until we get a five star. So I don't know how many that's going to take overall, but man, I'd love to do it within the first seven pulls since the odds are one in seven. There's a Luke Cage. And we ran a little bit, real bit low on my last uh, latest legendary token, so maybe we'll hit one pretty quick. I did a little bit of math, or a little uh, too much math, to see what my expectations are for classic five-star pulls. And now that I have a few champions, um, not every cover will be immediately useful uh, for some of the characters. But I only need, I think, um, what was it? I think I need... 19 different covers on all of my classic five stars that aren't already going to be just a champ level and uh, so that's 
not a huge percentage of the whole overall um, that we need. I'm going to stop and champ two-star bullseye here quick, though, because it'll be a few more heroic tokens. Since we have 40 saved covers, and he's already going to be the essential soon, so I might as well champ him up, get a few more rewards along the way. Alright, he goes to 136, and that's probably the spec layout I'll have him at. That gives me a couple more heroics. 21 now. Alright, odds are 1 in 16 for a 4-star, so we might get a 4-star from this run. I hope we can. I agree with Enios tokens first. Get the fun out of the way, then we can concentrate on the action. So I had a separate video on the polls I did for Cable. Originally I got him to 12 covers and had command points left over. And I really thought about it and he was really cool. I leveled him up as much as I could with the 12 covers. And so he was already big time um, since, since he's boosted, you know. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for either that last green cover or two more covers and do a swap and I do not suggest most people sh should not do that I, I don't suggest doing that um, unless you can afford the extra pulls just to get it done in time and I thought I could and I had a lot of um, you know 220 some four star champion level rewards to add in so there was a bunch more ISO uh, and, uh, but more importantly, a bunch more leg legendary tokens from all of those characters, um, you know, reward progress. So I went back after it and got two more cable covers from that second run. And I did the cover swap f uh, for his green. There we go. Got an Iron Fist bonus. And I think I already had an Iron Fist. He might go over what I need for his level for a uh, legendary token. That's okay. Done. Okay, we didn't get a four star that time. That's all right. Let's go to the classics, and we have um, 1,094 command points. So f we could, if we could hit a five star within four pulls, I'll still have over a thousand CP. That would feel great. But um, we're gonna pull until we get one, whether it's 20 or more draws to do it. Uh, before we do the draw, let's look at the five star. Uh, roster. So Thor and Jessica Jones, Okoye are the top three, of course, and that's great. And uh, Loki went all the way up to 457 to be uh, tied there for the top, uh, within the top five of all my characters. Kitty's at 453. And down at the end is Wasp, Archangel, Black Panther, and Cable at level 450. There's a, really no reason to pull to get up to 451 on a 5 star to get his legendary token because that means you're spending legendaries more than you need to to try to get one back. So the, I think you stop at 450 and then if you get the legendary later that's fine but you don't want to spend your pulls to get it. I think. Uh, so that's good. So here's the classics that we need to go for. We got Iron Man Model 46 covered to 13 um, miraculously. So really, uh, Banner Hulk, Doctor Strange, and Star-Lord, Spider-Man, Silver Surfer, Doc Ock, uh, Black Suit, Spidey, and um, Old Cap are the ones that need covers the most. Old Man Logan, and uh, Green Goblin uh, is, is basically covered because I got his 13th from Daily Resupply and haven't added it in yet. So let's go and pull classics until we hit a five star. So we're gonna get a few fours along the way. Let's do number one right now. There's number one, it is Gwenpool. Great, she was fun boosted in the previous week. Let's see, 1094, I need to jot this down like always. Get one in until I remember. I just want to keep track of how many in case I lose count, which I almost always do. Number two is 
Goddess of Thunder, Four Star Thor, the covers that we already got from the Alliance Boss event, so that's going to be another, that's a four covers on her in one shot, that'll be great. Four Star X-Force Wolverine, boosted this week as well. Next pull is Enios's guess is right every time it seems like there is four star rogue who um, is still my strongest four star character highest level but Medusa made a big run and caught up within one level so let's claim rogue with the bonus it's Kate wow I did not expect a four star bonus so if we get one more Kate Bishop she will be to the point where we earn a five star Hawkeye cover which would put him right at, uh, one level ahead of Loki again that'd be kind of nice Hey, all right, thanks for the luck request. How many was that? That was uh, four draws. Here's number five. Captain Marvel, Carol. Awesome. All right, one of the best. Let's do draw number six. Come on, purple. Not yet. I know it's coming soon. Mr. Fantastic. Great, we'll get some action in with him next draw another Gwen pool cool 954 command points we're doing pretty good I don't have to save a lot of stuff up for quite a while because getting cable champ and he's right barely into latest legends means I got a lot of time to save up more uh oh there's Medusa I'm gonna catch up with to rogue again within one level all right, who do you think we're going to get here? Man, you know, get you got to get Rogue. You, what do you need, one cover left on her, Enios? This number eight or nine? Spider-Gwen. It seems like we're on a trend of the characters that are either boosted or essential lately. 914 command points. I bet this is it right here. We're going to stop when we get our first five-star, no matter who it is. Not yet. Oh no, another Medusa. She is going to be tied for my highest level four star after that, which is not bad because her uh, champion level rewards are great. Let's go. Come on, five star. It's coming up. We're leveling up four stars real well. Jean Grey. Okay, she's also boosted, by the way, during the boss event. Two Jean Grey in a row. I'd like to know the odds on that. We're at 854, so we're at draw number. What is it? Let's see. Thirteen, I think. Yeah, this is draw number thirteen. So we're very due for a five star. Could it be this one? I bet this is it. Not yet. Sandman, all right. He's boosted in PvP as well. I just think that we're getting all the essential or boosted characters. Nope, there's Iceman. He's not, but he's good. Still going, looking for that 5-star. We want to speed this up. Let's try to get done, and there it is. Finally, after all those pulls, we get the 5-star character. Hey, who do you guys think it's going to be? I'll tell you one thing. It won't be Cable. Kitty Pride or Loki. It is a classic five star. It could even be Wasp. Let's cross our fingers that it's not. Um, but it would be a champ reward. And I'm hoping it's one of the five stars that we don't have uh, at champ level status yet. And it's a new cover that I need. Let's count it down from five, four, three, two, one. It's Okoye. <laughs> What a classic to get a level on. One of the best five-star characters in the game. We got it. With the bonus. Star-Lord bonus five-star. Are you serious? I put him on as my bonus because I only need his yellow or green and now we get an additional purple. Wow. I did get a couple of five-star bonuses. 
um, during my huge horde pull. And so to get another one is crazy. I think that puts me uh, uh, a little above the odds on those expectations. But that was amazing. Okay, let's add in our character levels. Then we'll get into some boss battles. Let's do this. Got to sell these one stars out. 80 of them is 8K ISO. Perfect. We need to get an ISO 8 back now that we uh, champed those couple last remaining four stars. The only four star we don't have championed is Domino. So that's nice progress on my part. I, at least feels like it. Who do we want to put a couple of two star levels into? There's only a couple that matter. I think uh, Wolverine and Cap, I think, is number 50. Or at least we have it. There we go. He's ready to level up and just want to find a Wolverine. 50 as well. Another bullseye from the progress. And I know we have a couple of... I got on a huge run. I should say... Um, let me see. Where are we at? We pulled all these recently. Check this out. I got on an insane run from PvP rewards. You know how it's often random? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six Magneto, all blue in a row, as rewards from a PvP battle. There's some sort of funny loop you can get into, and I don't know what causes it, but I'd love to find out, because um, the odds of getting a 2-star from any PvP match are 1 in, you know, 20, 30, 40. I don't know what the odds are, actually. But I got, I got 6 in a row from 6 fights in a row really nuts. There's something that triggers it and I'd love to find out to have it happen more often. Bagman results in a three-star Spider-Man and a couple more levels. Goes to 117. Nice to build him up since I have a Max Champ version of him and let's go to the three stars and move this along. Spidey gets a few levels in a row here. 213. So, uh, Enios, you're asking about who do we think the next five-star character is, and that's a great question because some people are saying, man, do I pull right now, which would get me a lot of Loki, or do I wait and see if the next one is better and save up for that character? I've heard rumors, but I don't think anybody really knows for sure, and people have been whispering about five-star Kingpin, and um, based on you know the, the Daredevil popular series, and I haven't seen season three yet at all so don't tell me don't spoil anything she hulk takes a level but season two and three i know had uh kingpin in it and uh, that would make sense if he's going to be a five star I, uh, that that stands to reason anyway i'd pick other characters first but i'm not a boss in mpq let's train up some bullseye here so we'll see. I don't know if that's correct or not, or if it's a different five-star. I'd love to know if they're better on paper or worse than Loki. I like Loki um, quite a bit, actually. Some people think he's not that good, and um, I think, you know, it's hard to rate him um, as a green user compared to Thor, because that's, that's a tough comparison. It's not fair, because Thor is just super good. Loki's purple is awesome if you use it right. Doctor Strange, Luke Cage go up a few notches. I'm skipping Iron Fist till the end, I think. Look at this. Mystique hits the legendary token for 227. We're going to save those up for a long time. Probably. I don't need any more Loki cover, so I'm not drawing any more latest legends until he's gone. I don't think I need to level Kitty Pride up anymore, but I might. Later on, if uh, the, the next 5-star is good, I might pull early and get some champ levels in Kitty. We'll see. Psylocke Duplicate moves up nice, nicely. Got a bunch of 3-star Iron Man. Whole bunch. He was an event reward. And that's my third champion of... Of Iron Man model 40. Look at these rewards on Black Panther into the 260s. Those are really good rewards. And I wish I had one more of him because we'll get another Mr. Fantastic. Not yet. We'll get that soon enough. Got a bunch of Ragnarok in a row here too. I 
feel guilty about that five star bonus, guys. I just cannot believe. Oh, there's another legendary from Storm. I forgot that was coming on her reward list. But, uh, man, it happened to be the one color that I had five in on Star Lord already. Oh, I need his yellow and purple so bad. But um, that's okay. You, you can't complain. It's just too lucky. Fewer luck, once again, working too well. Dokken moves up. Let's go down to Human Torch. I think he's on a legendary token streak. Yep, there it is. So I guess, I know Iron Fist is right there as well. We'll just do it. Another legendary, another level in a three-star that gets up pretty high. And I think that's it after Scarlet Witch. we got to duplicate Electra and Magneto soon. Will do. All right. Here we go. we got a bunch of four stars that we just got from all the classic pulls. X-23. Iso back to hit level 313. Iceman. Sandman hits 310. Nice level for him. I'll take more legendaries from any way possible. A couple of Jean Grey in a row. Where's this going to get her? You guessed it. Level 310. Unreal. 18,000 health. That's good. She's um doesn't have a whole lot of health comparatively. Let's go down to Spider Gwen. 15,000 health evenly at 286 couple of Gwenpool in a row. Need that hero points back. I've been spending that a little too much in vaults, etc. Mr. Fantastic goes up a couple. To 296. I had a couple um, covers on hand from the PvP rewards. Captain Marvel, big level here. 100 hero points at 331. Kate Bishop, take a look. 299, 100 hero points. Next level is a 5-star Hawkeye. Nice. You got three Bagman in a row, Enios, when you were doing um, the, the PvP sim? That's crazy. <laughs> I've never got that many Bagman in a row. X-23 goes up to 308. Almost to 14,000 health, finally. Got a few Thor in a row. She has a lot of health at higher levels here. Got the three covers from her from the Apocalypse Alliance event. And the extra one we got up to 315. Cool. All right. We got uh, Rogue and Medusa going. Let's go down to Emma Frost here. And Electra, 307. So let's do Rogue, 7 command points, level 344, tons of health, 344, couple Medusas, where are we going to land? 343 and 344. Wow, nice to get him up there. She's got 23k health, nothing to um, complain about. And, man, those are a couple of great four-star characters to be up that high. We're not done. Five-star Star-Lord Purple, the stupid lucky bonus. I can't believe we got it. Save it. I hate to save covers. I was hoping to get that yellow or green, but we got purple, and it wasn't something bad. It was still something good. Nice to get that saved for when we work up a couple more covers. And uh, Drax will eventually get the green in uh, a bunch more levels, but we'll get there. And that'll get Star-Lord primed up for another cover. Okoye, champion level, gets a legendary token, a bunch more health, 459. She's got 793 damage on her black match damage, and that might be just about overtaking my... Thor's green damage. I'll have to compare and see because if I play them together uh, with characters that have a team's strongest color component like Jessica or Carol and um, that's going to be a big difference maker. 
Let's go to Green Goblin, the uh, cover I got from the Daily Resupply, and look at that five in purple for him for Trick or Treat. That's a really cool ability. The color that you pick becomes count be, creates the countdowns, and uh, each each color would have a different effect depending on what you choose. Goblin makes it to four five four, and he should be next in line to be the next five star champ when I get the ISOs. Uh, back up to enough of a level. All right, cool. So I was going to take a quick look at Thor's match damage. 791 on green. And so that tells me it's already uh, happened. Okoye's got the strongest match damage on my team. And Jessica's at 761 in red. So I like having Thor's uh, match damage stronger than Jessica because if we match a trap with those two on the team we'll get a bunch of green without having to match green by hand and put Thor out in front to take damage. Cool. All right, let's go. We're going to get into Apocalypse here. Czar is on the chat. Thanks for jumping in. Good to have you on here. We got a couple more fights in the Apocalypse event before I get my legendary token and uh, personal progress will be done. Let's do the Storm side node. I got a team in mind for this. It should be kind of fun. We'll play with Storm and Kitty Pride and then go down here to a four star that uh, also does tile buffing with her passive ability just like Nick, or just like um, Kitty does. Nico Min Minoru should be fun. Let's get it going here. Um, should we boost black or try to get it naturally? Let's just boost it so we have less matches to make and uh, speed this whole thing up. This should be pretty quick once it gets going. All right, uh, black drops yellow. These guys are pretty tough. The Taisatsus, when you knock them out, they do create some pretty strong attack tiles. So let's see. What I want to do is have Nico take damage when we do knock one of these guys out. Uh, we'll get there. Circuit Breaker is a super cool ability. When the enemy plays a special tile, including countdowns, Kitty Pride will, um, her passive will kick in, which is a repeater tile. That's a one turn repeater, and it goes on the board fortified amazingly. And it doesn't jump on the special tile immediately, but it picks on a, a picks a purple tile to begin with, and then it uh, on the next turn it will jump over to a uh, the special tile, uh, which will just then destroy itself and do a whole bunch of damage. So let's move over to a full health guy right here, and I should have played my black ability. I forgot we had it ready to go. Circuit breaker damage is in the neighborhood of 13,000, but every time there's an enemy special tile on the board, it'll just override them. Let's play Hailstorm. All of these attack tiles are going to be pretty crazy damage once both of these ladies start buffing their strength. Circuit Breaker is going to just continue to take out the the uh, countdown, so we shouldn't even have to worry about these guys. He's going to go down. Create some uh, enemy attacks, so we should probably play our uh, yellow ability from either Kitty or Nico. And now look how strong these are going to get. We're already to just 10,000 926 in attack tile damage. Just ridiculous. Um, let's play red. And they're only going to continue to get stronger every single turn. So the more matches we can do without matching away these attack tiles will just get stronger and stronger every turn. Enios, that would be a funny idea if we got a five-star Mr. Fantastic with the beard and everything. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I can't find a Nico match. I just wanted to get her up front so we could play her 
protect tiles a little bit better, but it's not a big deal. Circuit Breaker also overrides the, the attack tiles they're making, so we probably need to make sure we knock out the guy that has the countdown just to avoid all damage possible. It's kind of a long multi-wave node, you know. But Kitty's going to be really good for these for these fights because the Circuit Breaker will just keep you more safe from harm and then taking away enemy specials is is great on its own but automatically with no like you need six AP to do it or whatever it's just automatically overriding countdowns and stuff is is pretty crazy circuit breaker is not going to be able to keep up with all the countdowns or uh, with, uh, with all the uh, tactiles they're making on battles against in PvE where they just create one every so often, it'll do 13,000 damage if there um, are no enemy specials remaining on the board. So we better just play our... I wanted to get enough yellow for Kitty, but we can't find a uh, yellow match to do that. That long wave is over. Check this out. Gigantic Venom with only 139,000 health. Yeah, that's all. So this is why we need to get our um, attack tiles as strong as possible. Let's let Nico take a hit here. That way it'll unlock the good side of her yellow and purple abilities while that countdown's on the board. Look how much damage we're doing every turn. 33,000 right now in attack tiles, and we're taking one point of match damage. So funny. While we're at it here, before we're out of time, let's play Kitty Pride's practiced offense. It's just a normal countdown, eight turns long, and if we take damage from an enemy ability like his green, I'll see if I can let the green um, match happen. We should survive it, I hope. And we would uh, practice offense, would create attack tiles for every time you take damage from an enemy ability. Ah, we'll let Storm, we'll let Storm get hit by it, perhaps. Only one turn left, there we go. Practiced offense will kick in here. She is out. And this is going to be a win. Funny team, but 130 plus health Venom is a pretty big surprise if you weren't ready for it. But uh, this scales to your roster on, or it scales on the difficulty for round level eight, so it's pretty, pretty big deal. Let's take on the boss and uh, speed this up a little bit. I have a really good four star team that I've had a lot of. Uh, Good results with Jean Grey, Cyclops, which I, you know, I don't talk enough about Cyclops. Yes, I do. I'm kidding. I always do. And then um, X-Force Wolverine. So we've got uh, just about all the colors covered. And um, in active abilities, we have all the colors covered. And I guess we'll just keep those boosts on. So here's the point when you're playing against Apocalypse. It's, it's one thing that... Um, you can do enough damage to take him out, and then he's just, if you have powers that deal damage, you can just plan on doing that and uh, take him out that way. Since he can only rejuvenate in between um, turns. And he'll, no matter how much damage you do with matches and match fives and criticals and stuff, he's going to rejuvenate every single time. So you can save up all your abilities until you have enough damage from your abilities to take him out. Or what you uh, want to do for more fun is to try to meet all the goals to eliminate his horseman tiles. And somehow we already got 14 red, and that uh, eliminated the, um, the uh, 
horseman tile that reduces our team's strongest color by one AP every turn. That's really pretty lucky that we got that removed already. Purple and yellow. I want to build up purple with Gene Gr Oh man, I set him up with an extra move, but kind of funny. If he was stunnable, that would stun him, but of course he's not stunning, uh, stunnable since he's a boss level. I like uh, Zar's team that you mentioned with um, Four Star Wolverine, Mr. Fantastic, and uh, Cyclops, of course. We're pretty close to a similar team here. The reason I like Jean Grey is because her purple ability, Mind Over Matter, will, re will remove enemy specials, and... Um, that qualifies to take out his war tile because there won't be any attack tiles left on the board. Let's go ahead and play, let me think, what do we want to do? Let's play that so when we get a team up match we'll build up even more red. Extra move in red, we've got a lot of red. I'm just building up everything we can to take him out with our abilities, if we do enough damage in one turn, like I said, he'll be just done. He hasn't uh, created his instant death countdown after the first one, and we got rid of that pretty, pretty luckily. Let's build up a little more black, and then we'll have Wolverine's ability as well, and we'll be done. Match complete after this. We've got all of our AP ready to go. Every one of our abilities will do, um, to combined, will do enough damage to take him out. So let's just play Mind Over Matter first. That will remove the attack tiles, and when there's no attack tiles remaining, the death uh, the, the death component is, uh, is no longer available. We also did enough damage in one single turn to take out his other horseman tile. And uh, when the, um, the bottom left horseman tile is the last of the four, it automatically just goes away. So let's see how much damage. We're not going to get much out of Surgical Strike because it'll destroy black tiles, but that's why it's good to go for black because it'll also destroy his death tiles that would instantly down your characters. If there's a lot of black on the board, that, damage do that ability does a lot more damage. We'll just play full of surprises for fun. It's normally a team damage area of effect, but you get special tiles out of it. And uh, I want to play called Shot just in a spot of the board that'll earn us a whole bunch of red. And it won't be enough to win until we play Cyclops. Combined forces, it does a pretty good amount of damage, but if you have 10 team up AP, it does a whole lot of damage. 34,193 with the... Um, 10 team up or more and we've got it it'll destroy a row on the board but plenty enough to win the match so that's a really good team if you have all four of those champed up they do a whole lot of damage let's go on to one more side note one more boss battle and we will be done mr fantastic is one of the side node teams let's do it and i want to bring in uh, cable and who should be our other character? We've got black, blue, um, blue, yellow, green. And so we don't have a red or purple character on the team yet. Let's see, who else is boosted that we didn't get any use out of? Well, red and purple with Deadpool. That's probably pretty good. Let's boost blue a little bit more. Love Mr. Fantastic's tile swap ability. You guys are like, I know, that's all you talk about in the last couple of videos. I think it is. <clears throat> Adam, 0519Y is on the chat. How did I not notice Adam? You're on, yeah, you're on, man. You win. Every time you're on, you win. All you win is nonstop banter from your buddy Rick, uh, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> it's like, can I return this prize, please? <laughs> It 
So I think what we'll do is use our, our tile swap from Mr. Fantastic to build up Cable's green ability. It would also be fun to play his other abilities quickly first. I'd love his blue as well for Cable because it um, is a countdown tile where then afterward, if you make a green match, it'll stun the target enemy and then charge five or up to five green tiles on the board. So it's a really cool um, ability, but I think we're going to win this match way, way before that, and we're just about ready to do this. Um, let's think here. I need a nice green match. Let's do this. We're going to go ahead and play Veteran Instincts for pretty strong strike tiles, plus bonus strike tiles for... Um, um, everybody on your team that's still in the match. We'll go ahead and play flexibility on Doom. It'll be a stun on him. The other guys aren't really stunnable. Red for a green. Where's a green that a red would do well? Right there. So we'll do those tiles as a swap. I almost always do his tile swap in such a way that um, it makes matches for me. Some people do tile swaps so that the protect tiles are, are hidden and not matched away and they stay fortified so um, do what you need to do there uh, we've got a extra move in yellow but we'll lose all of our strike tiles if we do that so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of ruin it on purpose that guy's about ready to go down I don't want to lose him yet we want to try to get cables green one more turn for doom being stunned We're doing so much damage, man. I don't know. I might I might ruin this effect here since we don't have a green match ready to go. Um, I know there's all kinds of good matches. I'm going to let them take my strike tiles out or that purple match just because I want this thing to happen with Cable's green. Oh, let's see. Is a green match available? Are they going to take it? They're going to ruin it. Oh, of course, I leave them with a four shot of green. Come on. Well, they match a uh, special tile. We're going to get a health boost every time they do that. Man, are we going to even get enough green to fire off Cable's kill shot? Huh. There's Doom. I can't I can't help it. There's an extra move right here. We got our green. And we'll win with a plasma barrage. The coolest thing about this is um, it does tons of damage, of course, but uh, the point is you hit a target enemy, and then um, if it downs them, the remaining damage re left over after the uh, health is um, computed out on the enemy that you down, the remaining damage is split like a like a uh, um, area of effect damage, like an AOE. So if the target that we're going to hit had 3,500 health, the remaining 40,000 would hit each enemy and not be split among them at 20 grand apiece. So it's really pretty crazy and a real cool, um, real cool effect. So let's go on with this same team into the boss. And when we win it, it will be enough to meet personal progression to get the legendary token. Let's go. Cable Kitty works, I think, Adam, and uh, I, we can do those guys in PvP here next, I think would be kind of fun. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for. I know um, a couple other guys are on, so I don't need to be on myself all night and let uh, um, everybody share time a little. So we're going to have to be a little more careful here since a couple of my characters have uh, far less health and I didn't heal Cable even though he has check this out while he's super 
super boosted to level 540. He has 115,000 health at, uh, at basic level. That's crazy. Um, I really want to get green matches going as fast as possible. What's the best move to get the most green out of this? Probably red, purple, green here. Deadpool isn't going to help a whole lot. Um, his his um, red ability would help regain health for him um, and do a bunch of damage in one shot. But against Apocalypse, it's kind of tough because the damage you do doesn't carry on to the next turn. So that would play on black. That might not be bad if I could occupy all the black tiles. Especially the ones at the bottom. Let's do this. Hopefully we get a couple of the bottom ones covered in countdowns. Yep, we did. All of them. It makes six of them. That's perfect. And so when he makes new countdowns, they would have to be more reachable. Does that make sense? I forgot that we get health boost whenever the enemy matches those away, even for countdown, so that's pretty cool. We've done enough damage to remove the first horseman tile. We're going to destroy another countdown down there. I want to try to get Cable's blue ability played if we can. We might not be able to do it just because if we have a death tile rapidly approaching. We'll get that one matched above. Blue drops black. Nice. These attack tiles just do so much damage over time, so you got to be really careful. And, um, all right, here we go. Let's play Imagine Not. It's a countdown tile fortified that gives us extra damage whenever we match yellow, green, or red. And uh, it's nice that our teammates have all those colors. Um, let's do green this way. Might drop a purple there. Nice. And I think we're going to be able to get a, um, killing, kill blow right here. We're ready. Let's see. What do we want to do first? Anything we need to do before we end the match? Probably not. I did want to play Cable's Blue. So let's do that, since there are a lot of black matchable in a row. Got a blue match on top, can we get it? Nope. This is a pretty fun team, actually. Here's a nice move to line up blue, and plus we get some more countdowns. Oh, he takes my blue match. I forget that he uh, has a uh, strong blue color. No, he doesn't. 49. Man, we just got bad luck. I was thinking that that was one of his colors that he prioritizes. Um, strong will survive. We'll hit our lowest leveled character. That's going to be Mr. F. Deadpool will retaliate for every one of those hits. I'll take it. Trying to get one more blue match ready here. I think we picked up one blue AP. We need one match of blue. So Cable is not the fastest character out there. Some people are, are um, complaining about it a little bit. He, he takes a lot of setup with his blue and green to, uh, to be their most effective. And I get it. Oh, come on, what can we do? I want to, we'll go for yellow. Cable's taking a bunch of damage, so the more special tiles we have out here, the more we'll be protected if, if, uh, they get matched. I can't seem to find one blue match to try to end this thing. To 
end it in the way that I'd like. There we go. Finally. All right, we get our blue match. Bunch of bonus health, perfect. And um, the part of this... Oh, blue's our strongest color and we're still losing it every turn. No wonder. Oh, man, come on, Rick. Pay attention. We would have to get a whole bunch of blue quickly, faster than he drains it. He'd have to get up to 8 AP with Famine so that we could get that Horseman Tile destroyed. And I haven't had a way to get blue built up that fast. So because that's the case, let's just end this thing out of bullets. I love this ability. Cool animation and uh, Deadpool heals completely. And we're going to end it with Plasma Barrage for the win. That took a while. I was hoping we were going to get all the uh, tiles destroyed and win in good fashion, but that's good enough for me. We clear through to the max progression and get the legendary token for the personal progress. All right. We're not going to pull any of those today. Grandpa Cable, right? <laughs> not Rick. No way. That's far off in the future, my friends. <laughs> oh, I forgot one thing. Um, since we're here, we on, on any day that I champion a character, I usually cash in on my uh, uh, shield rank levels. And this, I think, is two levels. So we're at 157, and uh, two levels is 80 plus. And then um, uh, I think it was 80,000 and then 85,000. To get 165k claim that that's perfect so we're at 392,000 back on our way we need 570 plus to champion another five star character that should be in in the next couple of videos maybe we'll have it built up by then so guys um i know guys are doing a lot of other stuff right now let me think what should we do let's get into a little bit of pvp not as much as i wanted but we'll do a lot more soon um, let's get in fresh cut where i can really show you uh, cable to good effect i think that'll be fun and um, yeah we can take on a couple of these guys that uh, have been in here psylocke won't matter too much but let's look at cable heal him up 115,460 health is crazy. Let's play him with Thor so we can get the most out of his green ability quickly. But I'm going to take these boosts off. That might be a little bit of overkill. Check this out. This is uh, a lot of fun. We'll uh, whittle Thor down first will be the plan. And then when things are are looking like we're ready to win, we'll actually hit Psylocke with our um, Plasma Barrage for the win, and you'll see how this works in just a little bit. Thor is only in danger when making red matches, so everything else he's safe and can remain in God mode back. Oh, I should have got the blue at the top. Good, I'll get it here. Or the green. What do we want to do? Probably every time there's a green match, we should take it, actually. Let's go black, then green. The enemy team hardly matches blue, just Psylocke's blue ability. We knocked Thor down too far, so check this out. That's fine. Here's what we're going to do. Let's hit him with just another small shot from Sai Katana. He'll have about 9,400 health. And um, we'll play Veteran Instincts for Strike Tiles to add to the damage we're going to do. Check this out. We've got 43k in damage from Plasma Barrage. And um, so 43k minus 9,400 um, you know, that's basically about 31,000 or so. That's uh, the damage that's going to hit the other two enemies right here. Plus the strike tiles will add to this damage, so it'll be more than that. Thor's out, and watch this. That's crazy damage that you get out of that's basically like an AoE effect. And this won't last much longer. Boom. 
boosted cables pretty good any any five star champion is great but when they're super boosted it's nuts i played um a whole lot with him in the last event and uh we'll get in a couple more matches here and call it quick i, I call it call an end to it see if we can get a couple of different teams lined up CL9 PVP Enios wants to see it and so does the rest of the viewing audience man um, I think my PVE would be boring to stream but what I might do I mean since I use the same team over and over for a whole lot of it but while cable is boosted it might be a, a more interesting than my normal PVE run um, so we'll see. I might stream PVE clearance level nine um, on one of my next videos. I think you're probably right, but it'll probably be like a zero commentary, just absolutely crush run um, for the clear for the for the closing grinds and then the uh, the opening clears on the on the next time frame. That might be a good idea. So we'll we'll do it if that's what you guys want to see. We'll do it. Let's get um, Okoye into this one. She'll add to his green plasma barrage damage but just on the initial hit to the front enemy not to the two that received the side damage and uh, without Thor on the team we're gonna have to build up our AP on our own I like to take down the weakest character quite a bit in their health oh I should have got that match on there I was gonna do that earlier so that uh, the lower you get the front target enemy the more damage you have remaining to the other two from Plas Plasma Barrage. Uh, I was hoping to get a green lined up for myself after that. The, the, the disadvantages of Cable is you have to really try pretty hard to get everything ready to go before you finish up with this green. It's kind of a finisher move. So I find myself spending a lot of time going for blue early on and then the green. And you don't have to play his blue first, but it makes the rest of his the rest of the match becomes way more effective if you oh, hold on my connection is uh, there had a little challenge for a second. So um, if you get Cable's Blue going first, the rest of the match goes much smoother. And it's only a 9 AP cost. It just seems like I have such a hard time getting the blue before everything else. Let's go here. Surfer isn't stunnable, so I don't want to um, try to take him on with a stun. Get a lot of match damage out of Cable. That's nice. Blue's the strongest color, and that does uh, tons of damage. There we go. We've got blue and yellow both ready to play. So let's do this. Let's go with um, yellow first so that our strike tiles aren't easily matchable away from yellow matches. I think we're okay now. Veteran Instincts. Nice. Now we um, have our blue. Let's play Cyborg Strategist in a safe location for a blue countdown. And by the way, you don't have to place it on a blue tile. You can place it on any color tile. We'll put it down there. Should be safe. Pretty cool animation there. Now I don't want to match green. I didn't mean to take Psylocke out, by the way. I don't want to match green on Surfer. I want to match it on Thanos. So he'll be stunned, and all uh, five green tiles become charged. So going for blue before green is important, because now you can hopefully make green matches a lot more easily. Uh, or at least gain AP more easily than before, because they're charged tiles now. All right, we need one green match to finish this out. Uh, 
Oh, that's tough. I hate that black hole. It's actually a cool ability, but I hate going against it. So let's get um, a little bit of help from Okoye here. We can destroy that sing silver singularity. It can't be matched away, but it can be destroyed on a line break. So let's hit Thanos with a shot from Piercing Throw right through that. Nice. And I was hoping that would line up a green match for us. I don't see one. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you see Surfer too often, and it's fun to play him. So uh, we got our green match lined up. Let's make sure and stun Thanos with it. Two turns. Oh, uh, our countdown was no longer on the board. Great. Good job, Rick. <laughs> that only matters. Uh, that only happens when you have your blue countdown out there. There we go. We're finally ready. Let's play Veteran Instincts again. Oh, and Thanos is forcing himself to the front because of his come and get me tile, but this is fine. We're going to do um, 43,000 damage to Thanos. Let's So let's hit him down a little bit weaker. And now, don't forget, the Plasma Barrage will hit him up front, and uh, all the extra damage will hit the other enemy, and it's plenty to take them both out. Very cool. Okay. Okay, it wasn't too bad there. And look at those points. Boom! We got the season progress for the 10,000 level command points. Nice. Need it back after spending a bunch on classics. I'm going to take this guy on. I know he's only worth 7 points but, uh, on, the, on screen here, but I think he's going to be worth a lot more. And I kind of hope he retaliates. I can save his red retaliation for later. Let's heal up Cable and let's get in... Um, Let's get in Jessica here. She'll build up our team's strongest color, which is blue, so maybe that'll go a little smoother. And this will be our last fight for the night. We'll do a lot more in our next video. Probably not tomorrow. could be tomorrow, but probably not until um, the following day. And I'll let you guys get back to your evening. Oh, I was gonna play Kitty in a match, but we'll we'll get we'll get more in with Kitty and Loki since they're both champed as well. Soon. Alright. So it looks like we have a trap tile right on that spot, and I don't think yeah, let's go ahead. I don't think it'll knock her out. She'll be really low. Oh, there was two traps there. I didn't want to knock Psylocke out yet. Oh, man. Two traps in one shot. That's pretty crazy. But uh, we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead and play... Um, doesn't matter who we stun, I suppose, just as much. Let's play this in a safe location. And then... We've got a triple move combo that gets us green from the gravity of the tiles falling. That'll be a stun on Thor. And I thought we'd stun him because maybe Okoye would be less likely to make green matches. But what's super cool is that Countdown's on the board. Next time we make a green match, she's stunned. So now we're gonna, it's going to be a back and forth thing. Stun Thor again. All right, we're out of green matches, but that was kind of a cool combo to keep running. Evidence tile. That helps build up your strongest color, and when I have trouble gaining blue, I think this is a pretty fun team to run. So we're ready. Thor is in uh, god mode. He's under 50% health. Didn't mean to play that. I meant to play Sai Katana. A little more damage on him means more damage will be available for Okoye after the hit. Plasma Barrage once. Knocks him out. The rest of the damage hits her. And we got so much green from those charge tiles. It is over. Cool. There's a lot of different combos I think you could run with Cable. And I think he's going to be pretty fun. Uh, yeah, 72 points instead of 7. I think that might have been worth it. Great.
nice win thanks for coming along for the pvp action we'll do a lot more pvp in my next video either in the um, individual events or getting a big run in the shield simulator because now we're down to just over a week remaining and uh, uh hollow point kiss might be might be pretty great to run cable in because Gray suit Black Widow's purple ability will build up a whole lot of green on the board wherever you want to place those tiles. I'm excited for that. Should be fun. So Fresh Cut is for uh, is on through tomorrow. Good luck in that PvP, guys. I'm going to wrap it up and end there. Thanks so much for watching. If you need more MPQ on Twitch, hang on for other guys. Uh, it looks like Kevin 8-Bit Forever might be streaming MPQ right now. And uh, Enios04, Adam0519, and Killpower. Um, stream on Twitch plenty and Triake, so check those guys out in my links below the main video or search them up and like and follow. If you're watching this video on YouTube, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please like and follow there and watch Mr. MPQ and Artem on YouTube and special mention to new YouTuber MPQ Mastery. He's doing a great job with uh, good reviews and um, uh, team strategies and all kinds of other MPQ stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you next time.